All right, let's see what's for sale. Lots of trucks. I think this 379 is going to be the first one we check out. Picket elbows, stovetop pipes, sixes or sevens? Can't tell. Those stainless boxes. Gonna have the same thing on LBL when I finally get it painted and mount those ones from Baker Industries. Oh, I like this truck. Paint's a little rough. Oh, yeah. That's good to see. This guy actually cared about his truck enough to put a boot scrub on there. Oh, this is a Jade Transport truck. No kidding. Yeah, they've got some nice units. These guys are class acts all the way. Oh, upgraded the seats to Legacy. Oh, really? Bummer. Dead batteries. Don't get to hear it. All right, so 767. It's probably 1.7 million. Clicks on it. Looking at how worn the door hinges are. But I bet this thing still goes for 60 grand. No, 379s? No, they're probably, this thing's probably going to go for 80. I'm willing to bet. I went 2 million miles on it. Just because it's got the chrome and it's a 379 and it's a hood air ride bunk and yeah, they threw some paint over the rust beauty well let's see what it goes for shutter well, I mean, ugly. oh look at all these beautiful freight shakers some volvos i know i know aerodynamic better mileage oh there's one of the internationals i've never seen one actually with a with a moose catcher on it that's a sure a custom moose bumper to go around that old 1940s style front end Big old Lone Star. Big stand up bunk. Check out that shifter. Look how bent that is. Guess I had to go around the uh, the drink holder. <laughs> but it works though. Cool. Good old Alberta roads. We cover our roads in salt and brine all winter long to try and melt the ice. And then it just eats away at our trucks. Ugh. Yikes. Ah. Square hood shaker. No air cans though. It's the way all the new trucks are going. No external air cans. I guess I just got to get on board with it. Coronado. Let's see what year it is. I'll look it up. Data manufacturer, 2012.
Uh, big old star. See, same thing, no external air cans. But I guess that's just a thing of the past. Still looks cool in my books, though. This one's pretty well taken care of. Nice and clean. Microwave. Double bunks. That inverter. Oh, yeah. No. No, oh, thanks. Oh, there we go. Proper Kenworth. An old B model. Day cab. Reminds me of Peg's Ron Jeremy truck. Get up and buggy's pretty good. Straight pipes. Look at those big old tanks. So this, I was just thinking the long frame Normally day cabs aren't that long, and you can see it was a sleeper truck at one point because there were the mounts. They didn't bother to take off. You can also spot the fact that they used rivets to close up the opening where the bunk was. And you'll see that a lot. A lot of farmers take the bunks off their trucks because then they'll put grain boxes because they got the nice long frame. Alrighty. It's 18 speed. See if she'll sing for us. Oh, good oil pressure. I wonder what this old girl's gonna go for. The old button tucked. <laughs> she looks good. Now there must be a muffler on it because I was expecting it to be a little louder than that. So there must be some packing in there. like the start of the smoke in the bandit movie. On cables. Stop. Oh, big old cat. I don't know if it's a B model or an E model. I think it's an E. Mid 90s. Uh, who doesn't love a good clatter pillar? What the heck is that thing? Is that the muffler? That'd be the first thing to go. Oh, we're sweating a little. Oh, but it's got the jakes. Big old fuel tanks. The guy could turn this probably into a pretty mean gravel truck. What the heck is over there? That looks like a maze. Alright, we're gonna go take a closer look at that one. Westbound and down. Oh, it is a haze. Look at this. It's gotta be, oh, it's got the bears on the door. Oh, it's gotta be late 50s, early 60s. Oh, it's got sticks too. Oh. Oh man, and it's a gravel truck. Polished box. This is uh this is pretty cool. Oh I love the chrome shifter on the auxiliary. Oh that is nice. I wonder what year this thing is. Let's see if we can't take a closer look at it. Oh, he's even got the Hayes emblem on there. So we got a Cummins, probably a 350, I'm guessing. Looks very similar to what's in, in Snowman. Oh, wow. It's like an HD version with the flat sides, external shutters. I love the polished box. What a treat it would be to haul some gravel around in this beauty. Man, oh man. 
He's got the raisin lower set right into the floor. <laughs> he even put a chrome shifter on his PTO. That is awesome. And check out, the, is that the air conditioning unit mounted up on the roof there? Yeah, look at that. Ridge King. Oh yeah, and the crank to lower the back window. <laughs> wow, someone did a nice job on it. I wonder why they're selling it. Man, what an awesome piece of history. It's got new rubber on it too. Oh, two-tone Dayton's. Man, that is a cool truck. What kind of suspension? Yeah, it's just solid blocks on a walking beam. She would ride real nice. Look at that, they even took the time to put chrome caps on the frame bolts. Oh, that's awesome. I don't know if that's original or someone came up with that and just cut it out, but man, it's nice. Now he's got the clipper emblem on there, but pretty sure this isn't the clipper. Clippers were the fiberglass hoods that uh, would tip forward, not the butterfly hoods like this. He probably just picked that up at a wrecker somewhere and thought it was cool and thought he put it on there. Okay. Right, let's see if the old girls will sing for us. No. No dice. Must be a master shutoff somewhere that I can't seem to find. I guess it's theft proof then, right? <laughs> uh, very cool nonetheless. No, 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 no! Yeah, that was a nice one. Well, he's a, here's an old Peterbilt flat deck with a Moose knuckle on the back. Oh. Hey. Round headlight Kenworth. Finding a few old beauties here today. Mid 70s. Could be late 70s. It's so only got a single air can on it. Oh, it's even chromed. That's nice. Canadian intake. There's definitely some decent projects here for old twin sticks if you were so inclined. Oh, it's got a B block in it. My favorite. These are the four and a quarters, and uh, there's a little little trick that you can do to crank these things up. Of course, you got to watch your EGTs, but you can really get a lot out of these with a with an Allen screw or an Allen wrench and a screwdriver. Oof, I could use some sanding. Oh, check out that old phone, Motorola. Holy cow, this seat's got a lot of air in it. Oh, that's better. My goodness. Ha! Look at that piece of history. My goodness. I haven't seen one of those in years. Oh, they did a nice job painting the inside. That nice metallic brown paint. That right, is cool. All right, let's see if she goes. Start aid. Uh oh. It's dialing someone. <laughs> Cancel. Actually, still works. Oh man, that starts nice. Good old mechanical cats. Well, check out that old air suspension gauge. And oil pressure, 60, yeah, decent. <laughs> the old original jump seat. And the crawl through bunk opening. It's actually in really good shape. Those almost look like new panels from the Daycap company, they're so nice. 
someone must have took care of this because they got the original Kenworth on there. I'm curious. No, didn't work. Tried to call Twin Six. <laughs> Be a great camper puller. back in oh it's actually good till 2022 okay so it's it's expired but the thing was on the road is that to dump the bags what that's for yeah it looks awfully familiar well, that's interesting look at that it's got an oil filter on the diff. I've never seen that before. It's a good idea. Oh, I was obviously pulling a pop or something at one point. So he's got a new airbag on it. So this is a four bag suspension. Airliner. Is that a Freightliner suspension? That he bolted under there because the rails look original. I don't know if it's a cutoff or not. Yeah, that's cool. Oh, yeah, there it is. There's a cutoff. Straight though, I'm surprised he didn't do a, a Z notch or at least a 45. That's pretty brave. Does he have it braced in behind? Or fish bladed? No, just straight weld, in and out. Huh. Well, it looks like it worked though. Hasn't broke off yet. Guess we'll see what she goes for. What else is cool that we want to look at? Big C5 honey, wide grill. I think it's a C500. Could be a T800 though. Yeah, T800. Interesting little deal there. I wonder what that's all about. Kenworth sure got it right with the button cuff. It's okay, just paint over the rust, send it to auction, it'll be fine. Looks like that doesn't work. The Aerodyne bunk makes it look pretty cool. Oh, there's a little square hood peat, long hood peat we gotta go look at. The 379 with a little bit of a whale tail up on the, up on the bunk. This one's pretty rough. Look at that paint. Beauty. Whoa. Smoker too. <laughs> Just got some outdoor carpet. Cut it out. Throw it on top. Oh, she's got a lot of miles on her. To wear a pedal down like that. Oh, man. Just smells like darts in here. Looking to get out and adventure a little bit more. Lots of new stock in the Ram 1500. So a million, million clicks. Huh. I would have guessed more than that. Digging the chrome skirt there. Now a lot of guys with the 379s, when they customize them, they do what's called shaving the headlights. So they'll actually cut this off and then, or take this off of here and then fill that all in. And it looks so much nicer just to have a nice aluminum shell. So spot that on some of the, the show trucks, the shaved headlights. And it looks like he's got 389 mirrors on it, but it's obviously a 379. You can tell by the three piece hood. So the grill surround, it's got the two sides and then the top cap is riveted on there. So in the 389s, this will just be all one piece. 
So that's another way to spot it. Oh, stacks are too small. Good looking Pete though. I get rid of that raised cap and go with a nice flat top. I just think it looks way, way nicer. Oh, get this guy off of here. I was wondering why it was dented there. That's probably why. Oh no, it stops in time. Must have just hit something with it. Oof. Greasy old C15. <laughs> she sweats a little. Is there any oil in it? Oh yeah, there's oil in it. Hold my breath and see if I can start it. <clears throat> Oof, man, that's rough. Someone was a smoker. Still runs. Of course, the uh, clutch pedal is stuck on the floor. That's interesting. And maybe we'll kill it. <laughs> what, the linkage fall off? What the heck happened? Huh. Well, sorry to the, uh, who's ever gonna try and buy this thing? They're gonna have to crawl under there and give the linkage a hammer. Nice job, Twin Six. Nice job. Oh, oh. Zero chrome. Zero stones, zero crates! Well, I guess I got a little bit of chrome on the, on the grill surround there, but other than that, just nothing. Oof. Yeah, this is a truck made for anybody. I know, I know. Stop complaining about automatics. I'm a grumpy old man. I don't like everything the way it is now compared to the way it used to be. Oh, there's a nice Aerodyne Kenny with a moose catcher that needs some polishing. Definitely a work truck. Oh, had a little incident there. Official Kenworth CD player. Con 900. Yeah, it's a good truck. Oh, battery's dead. Oh, of course it is. Too many dreamers out here starting them. What a hippo twit. Oh, that's a cool idea. Stowaway bracket for your glad hands. Hard to do one handed. There we go. Keeps the dirt out of them. I actually might get a couple of those. <laughs> Cute little bags. Well, it's an eight bag suspension. And yeah, more Alberta rust. Sixty-three five, Just pulling super bees. Good looking rig. Oh, that's quite the unit there. Fire rescue with a snozzle up on the roof. <laughs> Oshkosh. Yeah, is it a? Is it driven? Oh yeah. So it's a six-wheel drive. That is awesome. Wow. I can't reach the steering wheel, it's way in the middle. Oh, so that must be why, I was trying to figure out why is it almost centered for the driver. So he would obviously control the pumper and the spray nozzle from in here. And move it over and then he'd be able to see what he's what, he, what the fire is trying to put out oh this is a cool machine and very neat 
Who doesn't like a six wheel drive Oshkosh fire truck? What would you do with it though? I guess you could contract out with all the recent forest fires we've been having. Maybe this could put this thing to work. up the van truck from six pack. Oh, check out this old Mac. You gotta love the, the bulldog on the hood. That's just such an iconic piece. Oh, yeah, this thing's got some wear and tear on it. Oof, it just smells like mouse piss and cigarettes. Pretty rough and mold. We'll just admire it from out here. You can tell it's old and it's got the, the third valve, third blue valve on there. Well, that's cool. A tandem spade truck. I could go and grab some more trees for the yard or maybe put this thing to work. And then finally, I could earn money with trucks instead of just like, spending money on them. <laughs> it's an interesting choice, a highway, a Freightliner highway tractor to turn it into a, a tree unit, but oh, Detroit diesel. Yeah. yeah, they must've got it cheap at auction and then just threw the, the spade on there, but that's cool. Oh, look at this, <laughs> squirrel. What is this? An old Mac cab over. Now I think some Mac cab overs actually had a bulldog, well, that was probably right there. I bet you that's where the original bulldog was and someone swiped it years ago. What model is this, MB400. I've never seen one of these. It's got the cab over the wheels. Oh, check out those old uh, Dayton's on the front there. An authentic Mac hubcaps. It's got the, you're over the front axle with the cab, just like the, uh, the Fords. Mac trucks, Allentown, Pennsylvania. Right on. Oh, it's got two jump seats. That one's a comfortable one. Bolted right to the doghouse. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah, extra parts. It's even got a drink holder over there. And a cassette tape for all you young fellers. We used to have music on cassettes that we'd play in our trucks. <laughs> Quite the little unit. So what would this be? Probably a, a tree trimming unit, I'm guessing, which is maybe why you bring the third person and they go up there and fly up next to the tree and then do some trimming. And then they probably have a, a grinder that would shoot it all into the back of the truck here. Yeah, you could buy both these trucks and start a, a tree service company. Yeah, that's gotta be one of the only old cab over Macs like that still around. Man, I love looking at old trucks. Even if it's stuff I can't afford or don't need. Well, I don't need any of my trucks. They're all toys. Just like Arnold says. You know, this is fun. It's a six wheeler, so it goes through the snow and it is really, um, it's a safe vehicle to drive. And it's a fun vehicle to drive. You know, so it's a toy. I mean, do I need it? No. But I mean, it's like a toy. You know, the boys and their toys. You know, we never grow up. And yeah, these are the serious trucks here. Big oil field jobbies. I mean, look at the winch on this thing. The deck's six feet high. And then check out that winch. Man. These trucks would do serious work. On the big old rigs with 
the welders and the trucks on the black gold rush and the diesel burning cat motors growling in the mud. That awesome. I wonder how many guys fell off of the platform here trying to get into the cab. Fell into the mud. Ooh, trucker girl. I used to have those on my pickup truck back in college and my roommate would borrow my truck and he'd be so embarrassed I had them right about here on the on the on both sides on the windows and he'd be so embarrassed that he'd roll both windows down just enough to hide the trucker girls <laughs> oh there you go peg is that the good stuff <laughs> captain black yeah these guys were doing some real work it comes with a free pair of glasses Another nice one. Oh, there's a couple. Cypress Transports must be selling his gear off. Hope it's not the bank selling it and he's just upgrading. Uh oh, there's more. That's probably not a good sign. We'll think positive. We'll think that Cypress is just buying some new, new iron and he's getting rid of his old stuff. Oh, check that out. <laughs> walk underneath it and change the oil articulating steering yeah stand clear of this area i wonder why isn't that crazy same size drive shaft it's in my trucks to turn this big bad boy same size u joints and check out the uh the braking system there the disc mm -hmm. brake that's air actuated There's some big equipment in the Alberta oil patch, isn't there? Take your life into your own hands and try and get into the cab of these things. You've got to pay attention. <laughs> that looks like a handle off a, a small ratchet. I made their own little toggle switch. Yeah, it's even got Jake's. How cool is that? Now that's a trailer. Look at that. It's got a giant booster at the back that articulates. And then you got the bed, and then they got the same deal in the front. And the same, just a two inch kingpin that you hook into. Now this thing's probably got a push. Oh, it's mulling trucking. Yeah, they're probably getting a new trailer. So this thing probably has a push and a pull truck, or at least a couple pull trucks. It's smaller wheels, they're 22.5s, because they're trying to keep this thing low to the ground because the loads that they put on these things, big vessels and stuff for the oil sands, they, uh, they're usually pretty tall. So they're trying to keep the trailer as low to the ground as possible. That's why they have these real little guys here, 17.5s. And then this unit back here, yeah, no kidding. This unit back here is used to get around corners. So I believe someone just hangs out here and, and works these deals and it'll actually steer the tires so they can get this mess and make turns on uh, roads to get to job sites or even through town. So that's all these hydraulics do. They run these rams and then they tilt the tires. Very, very cool stuff. <laughs> brake boosters at every brake because yeah think about it if you're coming down a big hill you would need uh, some serious stopping power and so I think this guy steers as well because you got a hydraulic ram there that would give this turntable a turn as you can see this thing would move and you could steer these tires as well man what I wouldn't give to pull this trailer I mean can you imagine Looking at that in your mirror. Awesome, awesome stuff. Oh, an old square body. Scottsdale. I had a Cheyenne short box 4x4 in high school. Oh, but who doesn't love a good square body? 
Man, these are awesome old trucks. Oh, how they got that on high? Come on. Three hundred and fifty-six thousand. Oh man, <laughs> it's time for a new engine. How much oil pressure? All of it. <laughs> Power windows still work? Oh, look at that. You yeah, the old double fuel tanks. Once she's running, it's not bad. My daughter's looking for a, for a vehicle. She gets her license this winter. Maybe I should bring this beauty home. Uh, little 305, I'm guessing. I like this old truck. Bit of, a little bit of rust in the box. I know, I'm getting distracted. <laughs> the uh, transmission has to think about moving around. I might keep my eye on this one. Problem is, everyone wants square bodies. A lot of us old farts like me grew up with these trucks. Oh, look at this, an old Chevy with split rims. Can you tell I just like all things trucks? Where's the, where's the split in the ring? I can't seem to see it. How the heck would they, would they mount that? There must be another, there must be the inner ring that splits. Yeah, I can't figure out the, the logic there. The construction out of Edson. General Motors of Canada. Oh, a little rust peeking through there. What does old Neil Young say about rust? Huh. That was a cool truck. You know, if you needed something promotional. Even just to use in parades or drive around on Sundays. This would be pretty cool to do that in. Got a similar front end to the pickup trucks in the mid 50s. I guess they didn't feel like redesigning it, but that's a neat piece of history. <laughs> Please do not touch. This thing actually looks familiar. This was at the truck show a couple years ago, the Lesco truck show. I wonder why he's got it parked here. Oh man, that engine glows in the dark. Pretty comfy passenger seat. I wonder why they built something so basic. I think they would have put two of those in there. It comes with a matching Harley. I don't know if this thing's in the sale or not. So I actually called Ritchie Brothers to ask about that old Kenworth and they informed me that it's actually not on the Ritchie Brothers website. It's on another one of their bidding websites called Iron Planet. So I called them up and the guy gave me the link and I asked, what's the story? He said, well, it was up for auction, but the auction ended at the end of June and they had a reserve price of $280,000. So obviously it didn't sell. So I don't know if it's going to go up for auction again, but with that kind of a reserve price, I just, I don't know. I don't know if this thing's going to sell. I mean, who knows? Maybe he's got that much into it, but it just seems like that's a, that's a pretty high asking price for an old Kenworth. I mean, it's got a nice paint job on it. I'll give it that.